Hello there, I'm Beth, and I'm coming to you from the Western Branch of the Carteret County Public Library. Today I'd like to share some information that I've learned about an animal that you have probably come across. And I'd like to share a craft activity with you. So I love talking about animals and learning more about them. And I was excited to see that our summer reading program applies to animals. I always enjoy spotting different animals when I'm outside, but of course I keep my distance. Turtles happen to be one of my favorite animals. I often spot them when I'm near water. I recently wanted to learn more about turtles, so I looked in our library for a book about them. I found this, Reptiles and Amphibians Dictionary. Turtles belong to the Reptiles group. While I was looking through this book, I noticed that some turtles go by the name tortoise. So I investigated this further. I learned that turtles have special names based on how much time they spend in the water. If a turtle lives most of its life in water, it's called a turtle. Can you think of a turtle that belongs to this group? I was thinking of sea turtles, but if a turtle lives on land, it's called a tortoise. That's an image of a gopher tortoise in the middle. Finally, if a turtle is semi-aquatic, which means it lives some of the time in water and some of the time on land, it's called a terrapin. Like all animals, turtles have special ways that they defend themselves. Besides blending into their surroundings or using camouflage to hide from other animals, can you think of other ways turtles can defend themselves? I was thinking of the fact that they can hide in their shells. I have a craft activity that you may want to try that demonstrates this. By the way, did you know that this particular defense mechanism only applies to terrapins and tortoises? Sea turtles cannot retract or pull their head and flippers back into their shell. These are the materials that you will need. Two paper plates, scissors, crayons, markers, or paint, glue, and green construction paper. For this craft activity, I put two paper plates together and then I cut out an opening like this. Then I went ahead and decorated the top of the turtle shell. I'm sure you could decorate yours way cooler than mine. Then I cut out three strips of green construction paper. I also cut out a piece of construction paper um, shaped like this, and this is going to serve as the turtle's head and neck. Then I used leftover scrap from one of the paper plates, and I cut out two small circles. I glued those circles on the turtle's head like this for the eyes. Now I'm going to add some glue to the paper plate. And I'm going to set down two of the strips on top of the glue. This is gonna serve as the turtle's feet or legs. Then this last strip I'm going to put on top, but I'm not gonna glue it. Or rather, I'm gonna glue the turtle's head right here. Then I'm going to add the top shell. I'm going to uh, bend the legs down and you may want to add some claws to that. 
Now with my finished turtle, I can demonstrate how it can retract back into its shell to defend itself from predators. Could this be a model of a sea turtle? No, because sea turtles can't defend themselves in this way. Only tortoises and terrapins have this defense mechanism. Now we are at the end. Don't forget to be working on your summer reading log. If you want to learn more about turtles or any other animal, come and visit us at the Carteret County Public Library. Thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you soon.